Pope Francis meeting with the New World Order to discuss, well, Agenda 3030 from the United Nations, global citizenship, and re-education. What kind of re-education is he talking about? We're going to get into the full details of it, guys. Before I go any further, i got to give a shout-out here to Lori, who recently became a $6 patron, helping to support the channel. Thank you so much, Lori. And also Maria, who became a $5 patron, helping to support Thank you as well, Maria. That is a great blessing. And guys, if you enjoy what I do here, you would like to help support the channel and the ministry, I recommend you go to Patreon and sign up for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content, but soon it might be all the content with YouTube cracking down on me, giving me all kinds of warnings. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be here on this platform, guys. So if you want to help support not only what I do, but also make sure you keep getting the content that I recommend you go sign up on Patreon. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Pope Francis, and I say meeting with the New World Order because to me the United Nations is part of the New World Order. This whole pact, this global education pact that Pope Francis has been talking about here that he's been pushing for, it's re-educating people into the mindset now where we're moving from nationalism to globalism. That's exactly what he wants here. This is what he's been doing for pretty much the entire time that he has been the Pope, ever since back in 2013. And while earlier this week he hosted at the Vatican all these representatives from the United Nations, including the former Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Okay. By the way, these are all individuals that do not support the traditional values that the Catholic Church would support, which is pro-life, uh, which is um, basically anything having to do uh, with a more conservative lean uh, amongst Catholic teaching. They're not about this at all. But Pope Francis, he brought them all in anyway. And let me just say this. It's coming to a point, at least for me, that there is nothing religious about Pope Francis any longer. The title to me means nothing. Call him by his real name, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, because he doesn't fit what a pope would be. And look, and I'm not even a Catholic, okay? But this agenda, his activism, this is more becoming of a false pope or a false prophet. The book of Revelation has a lot to say about that as well. Now, there was a statement that he made here thanking the United Nations, and this struck me because he called this promoting them as Poets of a new human beauty. What is that supposed to mean? Poets of a new human beauty. Is, is there something wrong with the beauty that God already created in this world, Pope Francis? Do you have a problem with that? you have a problem with the foundations for which this world began and which it started? Because God gave that to us. Poets of a new human beauty. Let me tell you exactly what that means. That statement, you know what that means? That's a world, that's humans that don't recognize God. Those are humans that don't recognize Jesus Christ. That's what he's promoting here by a new human beauty. That's what he means. It's exactly what he means. Because nowhere in the entire span that he hosted these people did he mention Jesus at any point. In fact, he rarely does anymore. In any one of his speeches that he gives or anything in his books or whatever the case is, interviews, whatever it might be. This is always about Mother Nature and the environment and promoting this justice and that justice and, and taking in immigrants and, and, and building bridges and taking down walls. Nothing's about the Lord anymore with him. He's moved away from that little by little. People may not have noticed that. For those of you that are just, you know, kind of casual, don't really pay attention to what the Pope is doing, that's exactly what they want. That's why I make these videos, to bring this information to you guys. Because this man is a deceiver. Many people will always recognize the Pope as the most holy person walking the face of this earth. But at the end of the day, you have to remember, they're just a man. And in this case with Pope Francis, well, he might be the man who assists the Antichrist. Another thing I want to point out here, and then I'll leave this to you guys in the comments section. Back in 2019, Pope Francis was talking about, we need a way to implement this new world system. See, they want everybody to be a global citizen because they want the end of nationalism. They don't want any more of it at all. They want it gone. 
but he said, we need, an, we need a special authority to help with the implementation of this new order. I wonder who that could be. Possibly the Antichrist. I'm just saying. He called for a special authority. See, he didn't say it for himself. No, no, no. He wasn't saying, I'll be the one to do it. He was calling for a special authority to kick off the new implementation of this global order or this new world order. And I think that is exactly what he was referring to. I believe he was referring to the Antichrist. And that man will appear, ladies and gentlemen. That man of sin will be revealed in time. And he will help to implement this new world order where for seven years, this will serve as the final kingdom on earth before Christ sets up his millennial kingdom, a thousand year reign on this earth. And you know what? They don't call it Operation Warp Speed for nothing. When it came to the vaccines and everything, well, ladies and gentlemen, prophecy right now is going at warp speed. And I'll leave it there. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section about this. What do you think about Pope Francis? Does this make sense to you? Are we in the last of the last days? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.